Have you ever noticed how pinball preparedness likes to lash out at people, but he won't give them a chance to reply? Not in any way, shape, or form. Have you noticed that? Constantly lashes out. Have you noticed a, a trend with me? Whether it be with pinball, whether it be with bear independent, or whoever it may be. I'm here, sitting at the table, waiting for them to sit down. But they won't. Why won't they? Because they know better. I'm not anything special. I'm just somebody that's been there, done that. And it's awful easy to talk a big game. And it's also easy to spot those that are just talking a big game if you're somebody that's actually been there, done that. So today, um, what is the name of uh, Jackass's video? Removing toxic people from your life. 80 plus percent of the population. Well, it's kind of funny. Because he's going on about somebody that commented about him uh, not having a wood stove. And, it, you know, I'm not through the entire video, but at the last part that I heard, he was talking about how he knows this person that commented, and they're scared. They're scared. He starts out the video, once again, patting himself really hard on the back for his solar system, Right. And running everybody else into the ground that's that's not on his level. And at the end of the day, he didn't do that. He didn't put that solar system in. He spent three years putting together the parts to have somebody else put it in. So he spent three years getting this stuff together. And then he paid somebody to come and put it in. Now, that's I'm not demeaning anybody. You know, I wouldn't criticize anybody for doing something like that. That's, hey, you know, that's one more step ahead. That's great. However, I will call your card if you get out there, especially on YouTube, and talk about how you did it, you did it, you did it. No, you didn't do it. Not even a little bit. You put together the stuff. You got together the stuff. You hoarded the stuff so somebody else could do it for you. Whether it's pay, whether it's free, you didn't do it yourself. And when and if, well, <laughs> that system will break down, especially because you went with a smart panel. That system will break down. The question, Pinball, Kenneth, do you know how to fix it? Do you know what to do to fix it? Do you know how to actually properly maintain that system? And I'm not talking about just your regular scheduled maintenance. I'm talking about things that go wrong. Do you know how to do that? But you're on YouTube stepping down on everybody for everything you can. And I'm calling you to the table, Pinball Preparedness. I'm calling you to the table. You want to keep slapping everybody down like everybody's so stupid in comparison to you. Dude, you hire talent, right? That's what you did for a living. I don't know if you still do it or not, but you hire talent. Let me explain something to you, right? Those that can't do, teach. Those that can't teach, teach P.E. Those that can't teach P.E., hire the people to teach P.E. You follow me? Don't pat yourself back on the back for, for being somebody that hires people that know how to do stuff. That doesn't mean you inherently know how to do all that stuff you hire people for. It, it, it's, it's senseless, dude. It's senseless. You go on about your gardens. I created my own indoor hydroponic system, right? I am the guy that people are copying in the form. They're copying my design because it's super cheap, it's super simple, it's easy, it's nice and compact. It's a great answer for that particular situation. People are copying what I did, okay? I'm not copying what other people did. So you want to talk about gardens, you want to talk, and I'm not Mr. Green Thumb, not even in the least, right? I, I, I go weed. Woo. Who? That's it. In fact, there's a lot of stuff I don't know how to grow. But at this point, I know how to grow that pretty damn well. And again, my own design for the hydroponic system that it uses, 
I didn't ask anybody how to do it. I didn't pay anybody to come and do it for me. I did it myself. Just like I do everything else myself. Our metal sheds that, that we've got out back to be able to store some of our stuff. I didn't pay somebody to build that. It wasn't built when it got here. I went out there by myself. I didn't even recruit anybody to help me put together a 4x, well, I don't know if it's 4x6 or 4x8. I think it's 4x8 or 6x8. I'm sorry. That one's 6x8. I didn't even recruit anybody to help me put together a 6x8 metal shed. I did it by myself. Why? Because I can. Because I can. Plain and simple. Look. Again, I'm calling you to the table. You want to keep stepping down on everybody, man. That's how this whole started between me and you to begin with. You called me stupid because I wanted glass panels, permanent panels. I wanted glass rigid panels to use with my Delta 1300. And you called me stupid because you didn't know better. You thought everybody that used a solar generator was using portable folding panels. That's not the case. Only the fools are using the portable folding panels. The educated don't waste their money on them. So there's that. That's how all this started, Kenneth. Pinball. And you've lashed out at me more than once. But you won't come sit down to the table to have this discussion. You're a chicken shit. You're a fraud. You're a fake. Pinball preparedness. You're a joke, dude. Seriously. You're a joke. You need to stop stepping down on people until you know something yourself. Not just what you can pay somebody else to do and get on YouTube and puff out your chest. Did you put in that pond? No. You paid somebody to put it in. Did you build your garage? No. You paid somebody to build your garage. Everything you do, you pay people to do. And then claim that like you actually did it. That you were the brains behind the project. I'm still trying to figure out, other than a little bit of gardening, what it is that you do know, Kenneth. I'm calling you to the table, dude. I don't expect you'll answer because you're chicken shit and you're fake. It is what it is. People like me aren't like because we're honest, we're upfront, we're competent, and we're educated. And I don't give two shits who doesn't like it. I spent the time and effort learning those skills, honing those skills. I did that. Nobody did it for me. I didn't pay anybody to do it for me. And I'm damn straight not going to back down from some fake-ass, phony, fat body on YouTube. Because he has 100,000 subscribers. Because he gives away a bunch of free shit. And he's not smart enough to figure out that that's why he's got subscribers. It's not because of his views. It's not because of his personality. It's not because of how much he's helping the prepper community. It's because you're a welfare state for YouTube solar generators. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, I don't know. You take EBT cards for, for solar generators too? I'm just kind of wondering. I, you know, I've got to ask. Calling you to the table. Calling you to the table. Come on. This goes for, it goes for anybody on YouTube. Because it's ridiculous what this place has become ever since YouTube has removed, largely removed the monetization. And people have had to start to scratch and claw in order to make a living. It really turned to crap fast, did it not? Come on, take a shot. Take a shot. I'll just warn you though, when I land mine, it hurts like a motherfucker. Shalom.